It's inevitable, actually, that people at university now, before 2030, many of them will be involved in some of the most exciting transformations. So you can go from being a teenager to being really on the front lines of driving change very, very quickly. I'm Nigel Topping and I, I have the grand title of the United Nations high-level climate action champion. I mean, good news is there's a, a lot of need for talent to solve the climate crisis, whether it's in finance or in engineering and everything in between. My name's Elliot Wickington. I'm a director at the Cambridge Institute for Sustainability Leadership. So we're changing the way we do things. We're changing the way we travel, we're changing the way that we generate energy. So that obviously means that we're changing the jobs that we're providing. My name's Caroline Lucas. I'm the MP for Brighton Pavilion, representing the Green Party. Post-pandemic, there will need to be significant investment in the country. And the question then is, where do you invest? And report after report has shown that investing in the green economy isn't only good for, for environmental outcomes, but it's also got good for, for job creation. It's one of the fastest, most effective ways of creating jobs. It's actually a very exciting time. I think I, th I think there's a much more of a sense now that people going to the workforce can have a sort of transcendent purpose for working. This is the moment where we really could grasp a future where human well-being and happiness is higher as well as having a better relationship with, with nature and the climate. It's so easy to look at the scale of the challenge and to miss the scale of the progress that we've already been able to, to unlock. We are unbelievably creative and innovative as a species and when we really put our mind and throw our sort of heart and soul and intellect into things it's incredible what we can do. Given that every fraction of a degree of warming matters and every day that goes by when we're not acting in the way that we should matters, that means that every action that we take, in a sense, matters too. When asked, have I got hope for the future? It's not that that is unreasonable hope, but completely like, you know, that we will ne necessarily face up to these challenges in the, in the best possible way. But I do think that there are many signs of hope and there are many reasons to have resilience in the face of these challenges. I think that we're at the beginning of a really exciting period of transformation where pretty much everything has got to be challenged. I think it's a great time to be going into the workplace and to be deciding what, and I think actually genuinely decide what you want to contribute to the world, not what can you get out of the world.